little interest on money which is sitting for six months, nine months, that that's, would be revenue. And as you can see, they pay off one bond, and this is the old bond that they just paid off. They got money after they got the money. Advanced refunding, again, very technical um, transaction, and I won't go too much into it except to tell you that uh, in many cases, actually I was involved in one of these, a very big transaction here. It was like $96 million where we had to do uh, uh, debt defeasance. And basically what this is, is if you have bonds which are coming due in the future, you have a million dollars outstanding, and you just sign an agreement where uh, you cannot pay off the bond, you know, um, you cannot pay them off early, but what you can do is deposit enough money to pay them when they come due. That's called bond defeasance. And there's legal defeasance and insubstance defeasance. But basically what it is is you have satisfied. It's like almost like paying the bonds off because you have the resources. You put them aside in the debt service fund. When they come due, they'll be paid. So that's uh, advanced refunding. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this. A um, couple of things here. Um, I will let you go. Um, so for this week, the CAFR discussion is going to be on chapter five and six. Read the instructions carefully. The other thing is um, I would really appreciate it. I saw, I think in one case, uh, someone didn't respond by the Friday midnight deadline. Don't do that, okay? Please uh, do respond the first 